on day number 17 of our prophetic declaration and warfare. I want to tell you that it's an amazing journey that we've been on. And I want to tell you that as we continue, the words are starting to repeat each other. And we are seeing that from different prophets, they're saying the same thing. So what does it mean? It means that God is talking and we need to take uh, responsibility for it. And we also need to take note. All right. I want to deal with a prophecy by Rebecca Greenwood, um, 4th of July, 2020. And this is what she says. Africa, you are in a tipping point. God is uniting Kenya, Botswana, South Africa for this reformation. All right. We are in the greatest awakening in the history of Christianity. I hear it. It's a sound of awakening. The altar of consecration that has been established in unity in South Africa has captured the sound of the land. And you are uncapping and you are awakening. And you are releasing the fire and the glory of Pentecost from the heart of Africa from South Africa. All right. What is about to be uncovered and discovered and is, its positioning is blessing for, uh, is, is a blessing for the kingdom. Prosperity for the harvest that will sweep across the nation of Africa. The whole continent of Africa. I also heard that South Africa as a whole, it's time for an exp exponential harvest. That people are going to get saved so fast in South Africa. There will be a Holy Spirit Pentecost fire that explodes. It breaks out and it will occur when all are able to convene again. So in other words, God's saying, as soon as we come together, okay, after this, and this was given in the middle of COVID, and so we are going to see the power of God move, and that there's going to be an outbreak of the anointing of God, the Holy Spirit fire, and we are going to start seeing people getting saved like we've never seen before in our nation. Okay, let's go through the summary. Africa, you're on the tipping point. God is uniting Kenya, Botswana, and South Africa. We are in the greatest awakening. Uh, we are in the greatest awakening in the history of Christianity. All right, there is a releasing of fire and the glory of the Pentecost from the heart of Africa, from South Africa. All right, blessed is being positioned. A uh, blessing is being positioned. Kingdom prosperity for the harvest. In other words, that people are going to get saved. There will be a Holy Spirit Pentecost fire that explosions that will occur. Okay, I want to say right now that God is going to take His people and He's going to ignite them and they are going to be on fire for God just like you have seen in the past people like Reynold Bonker who carries the fire, who carries an anointing. I want to tell you right now this time it's not going to be the preachers that are going to carry it. It's going to be the individuals. Listen carefully. There are going to be individuals. The school teacher is going to carry an anointing and people are going to get saved. The businessman is going to carry an anointing and people are going to get saved. It doesn't matter what your profession is, but God has promised that there is coming a shift. There is coming a season. There is coming a time of great awakening, of fire, of anointing and revival that is going to start in South Africa. What I really want you to take note of, it says that as soon as as this lockdown is over and the people can start getting together it's going to be ignited it's going to be started and it's going to go like wildfire through South Africa I want to tell you right now, it is already happening. I'm seeing many lives getting stirred up. I'm seeing many lives getting empowered. I see many lives getting on fire for God. And I see many that are realizing that they carry the power of God, the anointing of God. I want to tell you right now that already many of these words, I'm seeing evidence of it starting to take place. I'm seeing evidence of people getting hungry and say, God, we want your power. We want your fire. We want to see South Africa changed in Jesus name. I want to tell you right now, folks, if you can get to any of the fire conferences, that is what a fire conference does. It ignites us. It, it fires us up. It gets us ready. And I'm seeing literally hundreds of Christians getting stirred up already. I'm telling you right now, this is not just a good idea. It is God's word over our nation. We need to be ready for this. We need to be part of this. We need to report for duty and say, get me trained, get me equipped so that I can do what God has called me to do in Jesus mighty name so saints let's get to our declaration 
Africa, we declare that you are on a tipping point and that you are getting ready for revival. We declare that God is going to unite and He's uniting Kenya, Botswana and South Africa. Lord, we thank you for that unity that's going to come in the Spirit. And Lord, whatever you want to do through those nations, we thank you, Lord, for that. Lord, we thank you that we are in the beginning of the greatest awakening in the history of Christianity. Lord, we thank you that you have promised the biggest move of God, the strongest move, is going to come on the continent of Africa. Lord, we thank you that we can be ready for this, that we can be part of this, and that we can get ourselves equipped during this time. We declare that there will be a releasing of fire and glory of Pentecost from the heart of Africa, from South Africa. Lord, we thank you that the fire of God is going to burn from South Africa and you have chosen this nation to ignite it. Lord, we thank you right now that there is an explosion that's going to come in South Africa and the power of God is going to be seen through the body of Christ. We thank you, Lord, that we can dec decree that the blessing is being positioned kingdom prosperity for the harvest. Lord, we thank you right now that the harvest is ready and that there's going to be a blessing that's going to flow. Lord, I thank you that the physical means that are needed to get the harvest in, the physical finance that's needed is going to be provided for as well. Lord, that there's not a single issue, but God, that souls are going to get saved in Jesus' name and that this nation is going to be on fire for God. We are going to raise the standard and Lord, we are going to see revival take place. We declare that there will be a Holy Spirit Pentecost fire that, ex uh, that explosions will occur in our nation. Lord, I thank you that pockets of the Holy Spirit will start bursting through, that the fire of God will come and take hold of the men and women of God. Lord, that each one of us will stand up with the fire of God, knowing that you are in control. Lord, that we will go out with might, we will go out with power, and we will carry the anointing that you have put in our lives. Lord, that we will break the strongholds of people's lives and release the blessing upon each and every one. In Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we come before you today and we seal this. Lord, we seal every single statement, every prophecy in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you that you have said it. And Lord, I thank you that we can respond. And Lord, we can say that we are ready. We are reporting for duty and we are going to do what you're telling us to do in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Amen. All right, folks, I want to bless you. And as we take communion right now, let us realize that the power of God is all over each one of us. All right, everyone, if you're born again, you carry the same power that I do. All right, do not think that some leader carries power more than you. That's a lie. The Bible says that if you are born again, you carry the power. And you can lead people to the Lord and you can break every demonic stronghold and you can sit down and help create a prayer barrier over our nation. You can be the start of the biggest revival in this continent and that the world has ever known. It could start with each one of us. When we stand together and get united and do what God called us to do, I'm telling you right now, God's going to do something supernatural for each one of us. All right. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and broke it and he said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for your physical and emotional healing in Jesus' name. The blood of Christ was shed for your salvation, protection and provision. And as we take of the elements today, let us realize that Jesus Christ has died so that we could carry the power that's needed to bring this about in this nation. It's through the power of God only. But the Christians carry that power. If you're born again, if you love the Lord, if you accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, you carry that power within you and you need to release it in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you right now that, that you'll forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, action, motive, intention. Lord, I pray right now that you're going to do something supernatural in each one of our lives. Lord, that we're not going to be the same again. And Lord, right now, I thank you that we will realize that we carry the power of the Holy Spirit inside of us. Lord, that we will report for duty. Lord, that we will be part of the supernatural move that you have for our nation. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together.